find people that always walk down. These here are a series of new shops in a new... It's an old area, but it's being redeveloped. And what we have are a lot of these shops. And right down here we have a pet store, James. See, we have that kind of uh, Taiwan kind of retailing look, James. Kind of little boutiques everywhere. And here we have a pet store. And they had a really interesting service scape where they have a big, huge, flat panel TV inside. And in that TV, they show the inside of the veterinarian treatment area. That was really exciting stuff. So a lot of exciting retailing going on here. And this is right down the street from the Tai Sutsan. And you can see upstairs, they've got maybe two or even three stores here. Upstairs, they've got the treatment rooms. And downstairs, they've got this little shop and entrance where they've got some nice photos from inside. It shows a little bit of what's going on in there. And yesterday, I was seeing quite a lot of people with their dogs outside. So I think that growth of pets here is kind of interesting. And also, when we came here the other day, there was the workman, of course, outside. It's barely finished. This is kind of half done, but people are right in there and uh, doing, their, doing their thing, getting the business started up, getting it running. Yeah, it's not done and they're already opening up their businesses. Everyone's certainly in a rush to get their business going. And I think it's a good combination here. We can really see this. The combination of the older and the, and the newer and a lot of money flowing into here. A lot of new apartment buildings, a lot of new flats near here. Condos, I guess I should say. Yeah, and uh, very exciting. Nice. A lot of new retailing going on. Okay, so that kind of wraps it up for the Tai Sutsang in Shanghai. And we're going to compare this with the Tai Sutsang in... Taiwan. Taiwan. <laughs> we're smiling. I think we're good. You know, I don't think we need to set up for a formal shoot. This yes. might be more dynamic. Yeah. That was great. We're done, I think. <coughs> yeah, Anything good. else, James? Want to go and talk to those guys? Want to rock around that corner for a second? We never got around that corner last time. Yeah, let's go have a look. We got picked off by the exercise guys, remember? <laughs> There's an exercise place up here. A gym? A gym. Yeah, yeah, a gym. thousand dollars a year. A thousand a year. It was really nice inside, though. It was really nice. And then the... Uh, it didn't seem unreasonable. It's way cheaper than Taiwan. A thousand dollars a year. There you go, the China thing again. What's your problem? <laughs> What's this? It's a magical land. He says it's China. It's a magical land. It's, the, it's a magical land. Here's our, here's here's our, our friend. friend. Yeah. Here's our friend. Oh, this guy showed us all around. Where'd Anthony go? He's just here. Yeah, he showed us all around. I think that woman's done she can can I'm not the tallest. Oh, This was the exercise place up here. Very nice. So it's looking empty in here. I don't know what's in here. And what will be in here. So this is the exercise place, James. It goes all the way down to the end. It's it a thousand like reming B a year. It's up on the second floor here. We've got a photo from in there as well, so you can see it's real nice in there. It's kind of uh, open plan. They say they have that kind of equal number of men and women members, so both sexes are getting in there and working out their Shanghai stresses. Yeah, they have trainers in there. Yeah, there was the uh, guy who looked uh, a bit like a uh, miniature army. Yeah. Working out with his kickboxing and uh, a room full of cycles. That was kind of a bit surreal. We all sit down on the bicycling machines together and run for an hour or two. <laughs> and then right across from here we have blocks of flats. There's all the, the laundry hanging out. Mm -hmm. And then our regular more traditional stores right here. 
And so you know what what we see is a really really close retailing landscape to Taiwan only I think it's a little bit more hyper in the way that you get the hyper new like exercise clubs are really something that hasn't been around in Taiwan for a long time really something new they're super high end this is a thousand renminbi a year and that's yeah, look, pretty high we, though we've got. Be, uh, like 10 percent of a lot of people's pay right there look what we've got running there we've got a nice new car and right here on the left the guy on his uh, scooter bike delivering produce this is so normal in the city here see those two just running alongside each other Good to see still lots of bicycles. People are still making heavy use of bicycles to get I don't think it's for city. exercise though. <laughs> Not for exercise. <laughs> but that was the whole thing in Japan that was so interesting that it's kind of moved that full circle. Now people are scooter, back to using their bicycles. Scooter again. to bicycle, to yeah. sort of car. Well, well, scooter fact, uh, to car to back to bicycle. You know, and a lot yeah. of it I think is very clear choice for health. So it's kind of funny to see that kind of loop go on. Yeah, in fact, my, in fact, my a professor friend of mine next door to me had told me that in Japan there were a lot of really nice bicycle pathways, and they've just been developed recently. And so there's a whole kind of resurgence of that, That's just like really what you're talking about. And yeah. in fact, you have these beautiful places to park your bicycles as well. They're really neat, really organized, just like a car. You know, you go and lock it up, get a ticket, you come back. You punch your number in and it releases your bike from a special sort of parking hold. <laughs> cool. So it's real cool, really nicely organized, very Japanese. Interesting here, we've got these accommodation blocks. And you've got these big sort of bits of space. Everyone's got their laundry out here. You can see those sort of metal racks that stick out from the wall, bamboo poles drying the laundry. Nice bit of space like we often see but it, it, the interesting thing though it's kind of a city. There's still quite a lot of space between these blocks, enough to get several cars in there. People have their own little bit of garden, a little bit of space inside. Yeah, I think overall the space in Shanghai feels bigger than like in yeah. Taipei. Even in Taichung, it's more packed in. What do you think, Anthony?